sorry it's been a while again but uh, yeah at the end of the video I'll give you an update of what's happening where I expect the channel to go and, and whatever but anyway water tanks I've got this space underneath my truck which is not going to be used for anything so I thought ideal for water tanks so I found a couple of these tanks online which I bought which seemed to fit in that space I made brackets up mounted them plumb them everything it's in a bit of an awkward space I have to lift the floor up to fit them in and they leaked so that was annoying so what we'll do on this video I'll show you roughly how rotational molding works we'll cut this tank open we'll figure out what went wrong with it and I'll show you what I've done instead so I'm going to use this can as a mold as an analog for a mold what happens in rotational molding they fill the can up with a plastic powder um, in most cases it's polyethylene powder they close it together put it in an oven and spin it around at all different angles the heat on the sides melts the plastic powder the powder sticks you know new powder sticks on top of the old mounted stuff areas that get hotter have thicker walls and areas that don't get as hot get thin walls So what I'm going to do is heat the can up, heat the walls of the can up and spin it around and hopefully the powder will stick. A few minutes later. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so it's cold now. I'll just have a go at demolding it and uh, we'll see what it turned out like. And that's our mini rotational molded tank. I'm actually surprised at how well that turned out. We'll cut that tank open, um, have a look inside, and try and figure out what went wrong. So what looks like it's happened, when the mould cools down, the air inside it cools and it shrinks and it needs more air to replace the air inside the mould. So they're normally supposed to have a, a vent pipe, it looks like that was blocked or wasn't there or something like that and it's just brought air in through the seam. Anyway that's the problem, the manufacturer has given me my money back which is cool. So I've gone ahead and got these tanks here custom fabricated so they're fabricated out of the same material which is polyethylene to get tanks like this fabricated is two to three times the price of getting a rotational molded tank but the good thing about it is it's custom made to your size so anyway let's uh have a go at installing these things i've made a bunch of these little brackets Whoa, little stainless steel brackets to hold the tank in underneath they, they actually weren't a very good idea uh, the, the design of them is not very smart I, I, I sort of got that profile folded up and then just welded in these triangles all the way along but the problem is there's eight triangles per bracket uh, there's six brackets so there's like 48 triangles I've had to weld in so it took ages to make these these brackets up which was you know silly design So as far as a plastic tank goes, I'm normally a bit funny about drinking from plastic, like I don't really like my food in contact with plastic. I mean most people will think, oh it's plastic, it'll have BPA in it or something like that, but that's you know completely untrue. Polyethylene is, is a pretty safe plastic, it's quite inert, there's no BPA in it. I mean it, it kind of depends, it does depend on what additives the people manufacturing the, the plastic put in it.
So I'm not putting a huge amount of water in this truck. These two tanks that are joined together are about 250 litres. I'm going to be sort of more looking at ways I can get fresh water from streams and whatever. So I'll do some big filtration systems in the future. So one thing I'm going to do to make sure I get the most amount of water I can for the tank sizes is I'm going to make sure the, the vent pipe is right at the top of the tank. Now the vent pipe hole is in the side of the tank near the top but you know there's still maybe that much that you know could be air. So I'm just going to bend this vent pipe so it goes into the tank up so it can get most of the air flushed out. So to do that I'm just getting something I can put inside the pipe. This is just a bit of extension cord and this here is just a, a reducing bush. I've taken the little nubbin off the back of the reducing bush in there and then we get some boiling water. Let that soak in there for a few minutes. Okay so once that's sort of softened pull that out and figure out which way it's going to bend. It's going to be in two directions, one up and one sideways. And we'll just hold that on there till it cools. Alright, so now that's bent to the right angle, which is going to be right up at the top of the tank. Just pull out my power cord. So then we just thread that in. I still got to put grey water in and do the plumbing and stuff, but yeah, that's in for the most part. With regards to radio molded tanks, I'm actually, I love radio molded stuff. It's just unfortunate that these tanks had this problem. And it's, it's normally solid ass. I wrote to the guy who manufactured them with what I found, and yeah, he seemed pretty responsive and, and was glad that I, I told him what I found. Yeah, so hopefully his future customers won't see that same problem. Right, so a channel update. I know I haven't posted in ages, like I think it's been six months since I've posted my last video. I've had heaps of stuff on, I've got lots of work on, I've got lots of other projects, I'm a little bit ADHD. Uh, some of you have wondered what's happening and where I'm up to and what's going on and if I'm okay, which is amazing. And, I mean, I guess the thing is, I haven't really taken YouTube very seriously. But, now I've got a thousand subscribers, I've got over a thousand subscribers, which is amazing from like 13 videos or something, I think. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to have to take it a bit more seriously. And, yeah, put out more videos for you guys. I might do a bit on health. I, yeah, I, I don't know, I've got some alternate views on health and ways to try and help improve my health so I'll share that and yeah I'm a little bit funny about chemicals in our environment too I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about those and I think there's a lot in our environment these days that we're not aware of and we perhaps should be in certain instances so I might do a couple of videos on that too all right that's all for now thanks for watching and um see you soon